guys. So it is Friday the 13th, November 13th, um, 2020. I am so excited because UPS literally just dropped this package off. Um, it's like 1 p.m. So I saw them pull up. This is my Opre Nails, the new release that just came out November 6th. This is with um, Jenny Bowie, Queen of Nails, or Queen of Bling, sorry. Um, so I'm excited to test out these nails. You know I love my Opre nails. So yeah, I was excited to test them out. I took off my nails I think last night. So I was ready for these. Ready to see what they look like. Um, for starters, I did not order the kit. The kit is a holographic like box or bag you get with all the prep primer, the file, the extend gel, um, and the nails, and I think you get the light too. I already have the light. I have all of Opry's lights. I have their stand for, yeah, I actually do have all of Opry's lights. I have the little finger one, the gold one, and then I have their big lamp with the also flash cure. So I think I have all of them. So there's no, and then the kits, I have like the black kit and the, um, when they did the Art Me collaboration, I have like that pinkish nude kit. And so, yeah, I just didn't think I needed the bags or anything. I think if you're new, if you're giving it as a gift or you're new to like opera nails, then um, it might be fun if you're just collecting the bags. But I mean, if you do a lot of nail reviews or just buy nail stuff like me, um, it's too much. But I love the bag. I would love to have it one day, but not today. Ooh, look at this, you guys. The thing is holographic. It looked holographic on the website, but I couldn't tell exactly. Um, I only bought the nail tips. They're $42, I think, online. Opre does offer afterpay. That almost sounded like a tongue twister. They do offer afterpay. I just ended up purchasing these, but I got two because, as you know, their specialty tips, like the longer ones, typically only come with $250. They did this with the... Um, what is it, Chon Legend nails, um, the extra long tips that they came out with, and then now these, which I think they call these XXL long. Um, so yeah, these are the tips. I got two boxes. Uh, let me see if I need to zoom in or not. Hold on. Hopefully you don't hear too much noise. It is so windy here in Washington today, so... Um, I've been hearing it blow over stuff. It felt like my roof was about to fall off. It's not, but it just, it sounded like it. All right. Whoa. These are definitely long, you guys. <laughs> just off first observation, pulling them out, like, oh my God. They are long. I don't even know if I wear acrylic nails this long. I used to wear my acrylic, I think I wear my acrylic nails about where the extra long tips are. Let me see if I can find an extra long tip for you guys. This is probably not a good comparison because this is coffin, but I don't feel like grabbing my uh, stiletto ones. These are Opre Sculpted Coffin Extra Long. This is about the length I was wearing my acrylic nails before I switched over to Opry. So I was really thankful they came out with XL. Um, but these, let's take a look at these. I don't know if you can see the comparison. Let me put it on the black part. Can you see that, you guys? This is the extra long compared to the XXL long so that is long like wow I'm excited though because there's like uh, it's just a game changer you guys because you know at first when I started doing opera nails it wasn't like a huge I mean they had like short I think they had short medium and long but the long wasn't that long so it took a while to convince my clients to come over to this. And then once we start getting colored tips and this and that, it was like, oh my God, there's just so much to choose from. So it's super exciting. Um, and I'm glad they offer this now because I feel like this should be able to cover most of your clients. There are some people who go longer than this, but, um, well, and they have to be okay with stiletto too though, because the, these ones, I, 
I don't know if they're planning to come out with like a coffin shape of this or like a square or anything. I think they have to be like stiletto, the longer ones. I swore I saw them say something like that. So I don't know what shape they'll be coming out with. But if you have people who wear stiletto or um, are willing to convert, this will be perfect for you. And these nails are sturdy. Well, in my experience, Opry nails are sturdy. I have not tried these ones, but I wouldn't expect anything less from Opry. So um, let's kind of go into it and see. I think these will run big, but let me see. Okay, so I'm putting a stiletto zero. I wonder if they're going to come out with double zero. I did not look to see if they had replacement bags on the site. I just hurried up and grabbed mine. Um, it took about a week to come. I ordered last Friday, so it's here today. Um, this looks like it would fit my nail. Typically, I size down with these specialty tips sometimes. But, um, I mean, I could fit into a one if I wanted to. I could. I don't know. I'll decide. You kind of want it to naturally go down. You don't want to force it up. I'm just trying to see. There's like a little bit of extra skin right there that would make me want to do a one. But they seem like they're... I wouldn't say they run big because... Let me see. Actually, it might be the same, you guys. Yeah, it's about the same because I'm a zero or one. There were some nail tips. I can't think of what they were, but I could like size down for them. I don't know if it was, the, I think it was the Chon Legend tips. Usually all size down. Maybe these two though. I don't know. All right, you guys. So let me see. I'm afraid to apply them right now because, well, maybe I could do one hand. <laughs> I was going to say like, I'm still in the middle of work. So I'm like on lunch, kind of virtual lunch, I guess. Or, um, and have a meeting at two and I want to still be able to type. So I'm trying to see if I want to put these on now or like stop filming and then start filming again. Well, let me think about it and see. Now that I'm really playing with these, I feel like the XXLs could possibly run smaller or feel like they're smaller because this is how I know or what I'm thinking. On my coffin extra long tips, I was wearing a six for my pointer finger and ring. So like this is a six, right? So it seems to fit me pretty well. Um, like just fine. I could even squeeze into a seven if I was desperate. Um, but yeah, I used to be like a, I think I was using one for my thumb. Um, a five or was it a five no one six five six eight and so with these xl tips this is a six and it looks don't it look like a pinky up front so but i think it's just because it's so highly sculpted like the apex is so high and stuff maybe they that's why it appears smaller it could be the same and just appear smaller when I press it down it works but it does feel like it's hugging my finger a little bit so I ended up sizing up like for my thumb I still went with a one but then um for the other ones I did like a one five four five eight so I ended up sh like go sizing up a little bit um, not a big deal or anything, just an observation I noticed. I could be tripping, but it does seem to hug my nail bed a little bit more snug. Not to where it's uncomfortable, and if I was desperate, not even desperate, if I just really wanted to squeeze into the six, I could. Um, but yeah, just letting you know, I already pulled my sizes out and sized my fingers, so I'm going to soon get ready for prep and then just play around with the nails and let you know what I think. So let me back up one second before I start, um, well, start application. I ended up finding some like boxes, um, that I didn't know about in the process of moving. And I found this XVX pen, drill pen that was sent to me a while back, but I'd never really had a chance to play with it or open it or anything. So, um, yeah, we're going to 
play around with it and see what's up. It's like a drill pin that's made for um, like gel polish removal, etching gel tips, cuticle cleaning, um, and stuff. So let's check it out or use it today when we're using our Opry tips. It is from XVX, so technically I should have my XVX kit out probably, but I mean, it's I'm pretty sure it's not made exclusively for their tips. We can try it with something else. So it comes with this charger that I just unwrapped. Um, looks like there's a charging dock right here. If you're wondering the size, I don't know if you could see the size. It kind of reminds me of a Crayola marker. Um, the fatter ones. That's what it kind of feels like. Alright, so the interesting thing about this, I was looking for a twist feature to like twist out the drill bit. It did come with a drill bit. But it looks like it just slides in and slides out. Um, it is very fast though. Sorry. It sounds like it has two or three speeds in it. I don't know if that's... A little loud, but... Hopefully I'm not doing anything wrong with it. Alright. Let's just use it to etch our nails. I wonder if I push it in a little deeper, will it not make that noise? Okay, that sounds a little better. So just push it in a little deeper and that'll help. Alright, so I have my pinky now. I'm not sure if you want to see me etch the insides of these. Um, the process is the same as you would any other gel tip. But I guess this is a good time to show you about this drill pin. Um, at the moment, um, I don't remember when this was sent to me, I have no clue, but um, it was, I don't even know if they still sell it, I'd have to check it out, but it was going to retail for $79.99 starting price and then go up to $9.99. Um, it's a cool handy gadget to have, you can put in your carrying case with you. I like that they included a drill bit with it. It's just a little loud, I'll be honest. But it does feel powerful. I'm gonna do the other hand, I'll be right back. All right, if you guys remember, I bought this cuticle bit like a week ago off Amazon. I think for like six or seven bucks. Um, I saw some people use it on their natural nail or to blend in the soft gel uh, tips. So I figured I would try it just to see um, if it's helpful in my application process. So it looks like it does fit in this drill pin.
I don't know where my video just stopped at, but you guys know I have the 70% off sale on my website. It's going to go from now until about the week of Thanksgiving, so be sure to check it out. Look at this beautiful unicorn nail brush, like for dusting. Cute little gift idea or like a stocking stuffer for your nail sisters or people who are interested in nails. I think they would love this just to sit on their desk and look cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. You guys are in luck because I ended up finding my opera stuff to apply um, uh, the nails to. I was going to have to use the Jellish set, but um, I ended up finding these. I'm still like living out of a box with my nail supplies. I got to find a day to organize. I did get a table top at least from Ikea, so it's a start. We're, we're getting somewhere. I know you're supposed to start with your non-dominant hand, but um, I still need to do some stuff and type and I don't know how this is going to feel because these are like long, long, not just long, 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 XXL long. So I'm going to need some room. I need to test it out first, some room to get used to it before I throw on the other hand. Um, where are my nails at? Okay, so we are going to put primer inside of these nail tips just to give a little extra adhesion. Help your tip, tip stick better. If you're curious, you know I've been rocking with Opry nails for like a year or more now. I don't have issues with them coming off and I am a nail biter as you can tell. Um, if you prep right and apply them with like no air bubbles. Um, you should be good. I mean, of course they encourage people with shorter nails to kind of wear shorter nails, but I'm not here for all that negativity. Um, I'm going to do what I want. And so far it's worked out for me. So don't let it discourage you. Where there's a will, there is a way. Okay, so we got that in... I got my opera light over here. Let me move it closer. All right. It's gonna be awkward. Maybe I should. Hold on. All right. Move these tips and boxes out of the way so you guys can see what I'm up to. Look what I found down there, you guys. Remember my finger tip thing, like to press down while I do my nails? I used to always brag about it in my videos. Um, I was down there looking for stuff and I found it. I wasn't even looking for it. To be honest, I forgot I had it um, until I was down there and just saw it. So I'm going to do a layer on my nail. Now they did say you can do like two layers on these nails to like build it up. Two layers of extend gel. Because you kind of want to fill in that gap a little bit from your natural nail to the fake nail. Because it does have a big, like a high apex. So there's going to be a little bit of a gap from where it makes contact from the natural nail to, um, yeah, the tip. I've always just filled mine up though, like with extra inside the tip. You kind of have to be careful with that method, otherwise you'll have a whole bunch of excess rolling out. Oh, another tip I saw them do in their video, um, to really help blend the tip into the natural nail, they took a hand file and blended the soft gel nail extension around the cuticle. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm hoping that the drill will save me in the end, but they did it before they applied the nail. So that is a tip you can try. I just love Opry nails so much. I know you guys hear me talk about them all the time. They're just so easy. Um, so quick and easy. 
to do, even if you were to, like, I feel like anyone can do these. Um, it's a great gift to treat yourself to, like, especially while you're in the pandemic, like you might be afraid to go to the nail shop or the nail shop might be closing again for you. Like I heard in Washington where I'm at, um, they might put some stricter laws um, or rules in place because of the pandemic. So we might lose our freedom soon, which makes me want to like run out and go do everything this weekend or the upcoming days just in case we're locked down again um i know i'm gonna do some shopping probably i need to do i've been like hooked on walmart grocery delivery lately um and probably even more so during the holidays i'll be using it just to not be in line all right so we got our extend gel on now let's take our tip oh let's rewind it what lamp do we want to use today you guys um, should I use my, oops, my hands-free lamp, maybe today? I should, because it's, I was going to use the gelish lamp for you guys, so you can get another preview, but maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll do it when I do the other hand. Um, or something, because I'm only doing one right now. But I don't know if I'll record me doing my second hand. We'll see. I kind of want to hurry up and get this video up for you guys. Ugh. All right. All right. So we are going to take our tip. We are going to put some gel in there. This might be a lot. get some of that I think I put too much in that one you guys <laughs> we'll find out all right so you're gonna get your nail wind up when it's where you like it press down I am using the hands-free lamp I was reading the comments in one of my videos and I saw people complaining about the XVX lamp, which I was shocked, but everyone has a different experience. You know, we're all titled to our opinion and experience about it. Um, I love it, even though with the Jellish lamp, that's even more cool. Um, just cause it's like, it could be a tabletop lamp and you just touch it to tap it on. It's really cool um, and cordless. But I still love my XVX lamp. Like, if you still ask me my top two lamps for soft gel nail extensions, I'm going to hands down say Gelish and XVX um, for lamps. I flash cure my nails a lot longer. I guess I'm just insecure because they're shorter. And I want to make sure that they're on. So, because I've had certain systems that I've used or maybe a light I've used where... It wasn't really curing. Now for me, you guys, I put my gel towards the bottom. Especially because I don't... The gel doesn't have that very far to travel up on my nails since it's short. Um, so yeah. Oh, let me move it over here. These are going to take a second to get used to, I can tell. I was going to wear these on a, um, <laughs> a date, like a date night. I don't know if I should call it a date night. I'm supposed to hang out with this person I've known for like almost two years. Um, we'll hang out here and there, see each other every couple months. But we're going to do a paint and sip night. If you saw me on Instagram, I think a couple weeks ago I posted a painting that I did. Um, it's a numbered painting that you do, but it's so fun. They send you the whole kit and you can like host your own paint sit party. And so, yeah, I was supposed to like be on a date. Like I had invited someone over to come paint with me, but then I realized I didn't really like them like that. And I'm not about wasting time. Before I'd be bored and still hang out with people I know that I didn't really like or knew it wasn't going anywhere. But now I'm being more 
mindful about my time and where I spend it and who I give it to. So I'm like, eh, I don't really want to hang out with this guy. Not my forever person. So I decided, yeah, to not hang with him and paint. I painted with my daughter instead, but we just ordered another painting of Bob Marley and Michael Jackson. And so I'm going to try again to paint with somebody and we'll see. I get irritated quick though with people, so it's nothing for me to cut people off or disappear. Ugh, that looks a little crooked, you guys. You see that? If I hold my finger like this, it doesn't, but together it looks a little crooked. These are long. Look at that, you guys. Yeah, there's no way I probably would have been able to type today. I don't even have a full-size keyboard yet. I had one of them and it got thrown away. I didn't even get to open it. Brand new in the box. When we were moving, uh, doing the junk removal from my old place, it was sitting outside on the lawn, but I had put it there to go run to my car and um, like put some stuff in my car to take to the new house and um, they just grabbed it. I feel like they knew better. Like, something new in the box, why would I be throwing it away? And it was a nice keyboard, like an Ergo $100 keyboard, so. But yeah, I got grabbed, so. Lost it. This is crazy, you guys. I wonder if this is it as far as length. Or are they going to surprise us and do like one more? <laughs> like extremely long tips. So yeah, I'm just keeping mine towards the very bottom. Keep wanting to go like this. By the way, I still love this finger crystal. If you're curious how I feel about it several months from now, I still love it. You can still get away like with doing your nails without it, but I feel like it just adds the perfect amount of pressure. To your application, even with clients, I was using it with my clients before and it was just perfect. I was like so close to almost taking my clients back. I haven't did anyone's nails since like March or end of February. I think it was March. And I was so close to like wanting to take some people back because I was getting bored and just wanted to talk to people and hang out. I miss certain people, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to just really be having company like that, inviting people over um, to do nails. And I don't want to be responsible for anything. All right, I'm going to cure this in the full lamp. But yeah, I don't, I don't want someone calling me because they broke a nail or let's say if they, I don't know, their appointments, like, ooh, that's kind of hot. They schedule an appointment and then maybe they need to reschedule or they come late or just all kind of stuff, but they don't know what they want. Like, I don't know if I want to sit there forever because nails are unpredictable, especially when you do them at home. Well, even if you do them in the shop, you never know what people want. I try to get an idea of what they want before they come so I can tie myself, but yeah. All right, I think I did a pretty good job with the exception of the middle nail that looks a little cricket. I think I could get away with saying my finger's cricket. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna um, pretty much just shape these up real quick and then come back and tell you what I think. Wait, since, well, um, something I noticed off observation, I don't know if you can see how good that blended in. Like, that's probably the best blended look I've had um I don't know if they just made that thinner 
this one you can see a little bit like it I didn't get it down there really good in the little corner right there but other than that they look they look good like I would be okay not like sealing in and cleaning up the cuticles on these hopefully you can see I would be good not doing it I think I am gonna do it but they look good already without any filing so I don't know if they thinned it out or maybe when I was using the drill pin did it thin it out really good I'll have to check or compare but that's something I noticed right away random thought you know it's kind of funny um I hate when people ask like if you have on long nails they're like oh my god how do you go to the bathroom with those nails or how do you do this or that and when they'd ask me I'd be wearing something that's like the opre regular length regular long length or even the xl length but you know and I'm like uh you know it's just normal you do it like this it's not that hard but I think these are the nails where if someone asked me I would I would understand why they're asking but it's probably because my, my nails are short, so these look really long on me or whatever. So yeah, if someone was asking me, I think these would be the nails where it's more, um, <laughs> it's more understood if you were to ask me. But before, I'm like, my nails wouldn't even be that long and people would ask that. And I'm like, shut up, seriously. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these for me, they're going to probably take a second to get used to. I'm always cautious now with nails, especially I'm in nail groups and I see people ripping their nail off and it just, it terrifies me. Like they get in an injury or something, slam their finger in the door or the car, or just hit their nail the opposite direction and their whole nail falls off and it's all bloody and ugh. I get so scared. So I'm like super extra cautious um, when I have nails on. I wish I had someone to file my nails for me. I don't like filing my nails. You can't get them as crisp, you know? Well, I mean, you could, but it's not easy for me to. Anybody else's nails I was doing, I could do it, but mine, they'd be aight. All right, you guys, so there's that. I have not blended it yet around the cuticle, but I might try to do it right now just to see what that looks like. Let me see how much time I have. I got 30 minutes. Alright, 
I don't want to overdo it because it really wasn't a whole lot there that needed, in my opinion. That needed to be wiped, or not wiped, blended. I was thinking wipe because I was gonna wipe my nails. Dust them off and wipe them. So the application, as you can see, is pretty much the same. You will just need extra glue, not glue, extend gel, to fill up that high apex. You know, like, I don't know if you can see in there, but um, from the video, they did two layers of extend gel on the natural nail. Then they went in the tip with um, extend gel again and kind of rolled the nail on like you typically would. I just ended up doing one layer on my natural nail but putting extra gel inside my tip. Um, but do whatever is comfortable for you, what works, or follow their directions because that's probably the best <laughs> tip. But I ended up modifying a bit to what works for me. It's already what I do in their other sculpted tips that I have, so... It worked out, but I think I did pretty good, minus that note being a little cricket, but it's all good. I might shape it up a little more. But overall, you guys, so what you would do after this is wipe them down with acetone. I think if you're leaving them clear, you can go underneath these with the top coat, you know, to make it all nice and shiny. But I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. I just wanted to get them on to show you guys, do the unboxing, let you know my thoughts on them. I love these. These are super long. Um... I wouldn't be surprised if this is where they stop at as far as length goes because um, this is like long long but who knows I'm I'm here for it if they go longer I will do all the videos <laughs> on whatever they come out with as far as nail tips go um, but yeah I love it I think I said it was about $42 or so for a box their kits I think are like $125 um, if you're new to them it's definitely worth investing into the kit um, if you just want everything all together, just like a one-stop shop or you're giving a gift to someone, it's a good way to go. Um, this is perfect. Like it's a whole game changer. I love it. They feel sturdy. They feel really strong. They're not bending or anything. Um, they feel good. So I'm going to see how they feel throughout the day. Maybe get an idea of a design. It won't be in this video that I'll be designing because I just want to get the video up for you guys. But um, maybe I'll play around with them later to do my other hand or show you what I end up doing to them. But I am super excited. Another like two thumbs up on their product. It is amazing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments or if you bought them or if you plan to get them. If you have clients that love long nails or if you love them, um, long nails, you are definitely going to love these. And I love that sleek look it gives the hand like... Stilettos just make your hand look a lot slimmer. So, I love it. Alrighty, you guys. I won't take up too much more of your time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget the 70% off sale going on on my website. It is www.dippedinpretty.com. I do plan to do um, a restock soon. It'll probably be around after Thanksgiving. Because I highly doubt I can get my stuff before Thanksgiving. It'll either be the week of Thanksgiving or like right after it will mostly be stickers that I'll be restocking on. There's a lot of new stickers I found that I thought were really cool. Worth adding to the site. Like tons of them. And then I'll work back into my foil collection. And then really start uh, diving into my nail. Not nail. Nail polish collection. Growing that. I have some fun ideas for that. I just had to put it on hold and do some other stuff. But I think I'm ready to start releasing those colors soon. So yeah, I will talk to you guys about it later. Bye.